ITBC student. Now, that is the youngest, baddest uploader who has stepped foot and touch buttons on this thing and has made total sense. And I tell you something, I've seen a lot of them come and go. A YTBC student has now graduated into the midst of the masters. I'm going to start off this video a little bit differently. I want to start off by saying what up to all my people. Now, when I say my people, I'm not talking about race, creed, religion. I don't even mean my country. When I say my people... That goes out to anyone who, on a day-to-day -day basis, one of their top priorities is to contribute to society, make the world a better place, and watch out for their fellow man. If you fall into those categories, you are one of my people. Now, as I'm sure most of y'all know, the president, the U.S. presidential election is over. And we have now elected a president. And I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone who is putting out unbiased and researched information. And there was actually a wealth of information that was given by people who don't even live in the United States. Now, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to some people, both in and out of the boxing community, both in and out of the United States. I want to shout out Strictly Boxing News. I want to shout out D Fisher. I want to shout out um, Mr. Silva. I want to shout out 10 players. I want to shout out Nordic Warrior. And I would also like to shout out Grade A Under A, who is definitely not a boxing channel. He's based out of the UK, and he actually did videos on both the candidates. And an additional video talking about the elections overall. And from what I can gather, all these people have put out information that is informative and doesn't push an agenda. And there are countless others. If I didn't mention your name... It's not that I don't acknowledge you and it's not that I don't appreciate you, but the internet is a big place. So I'm sure there's a lot of contributors that I did not come across. Nonetheless, I thank you. I want to go ahead and give a little bit of background about myself. That way you understand what perspective you are getting. I am actually a registered Democrat. And the reason why I'm a registered Democrat is because I do actually believe in a lot of the values and what 
the Democratic Party has stood for in the past. However, I actually consider myself independent. Which brings me to the topic of this video. Now, the first thing I want to say is this is mainly going to be to my United States of America people who live in this great nation. When I say that I am independent, I mean that in many, many different ways. Mainly in thought. I am an independent thinker. I think for myself. And when I'm making decisions, such as voting, not limited to, but such as voting, I think for myself. People, we have to get past this voting for somebody just because of their political affiliation. We have to be educating ourselves and researching policies. And we must understand when there is either an agenda being pushed on us or an influence being imposed on us. Don't vote for someone just because a celebrity endorses them. Don't vote for someone just because you see Jay-Z, Kanye West, or Beyonce on the stage with them. Vote based off of research that you do on your own because the mainstream media will lie to you. It's not that it might. It's not. It does sometimes. It will lie to you. The good news is we live in the golden age of information. At our very fingertips, in most cases, 100% of the time, you have information available at your fingertips. And instead of being told your vote counts and then followed by vote for so-and-so, Why don't you do some re research on that so-and-so, find out what they're really about, and then if you do feel like voting for that individual, do it. But if you don't, don't feel guilty just because you're going against what that celebrity says. Don't be lazy and do the research and think for yourselves. And that comes to any situation. Right now, Colin Kaepernick is a hot topic. I will say this, even though I don't necessarily agree with Colin Kaepernick. I stand up for his right to protest. I stand up for his right 
to stand for what he believes in. Even if that means he doesn't stand for the national anthem, even if that means he decides that he is not going to vote, that is his right. People didn't die for your right to vote. They died for your right to choose whether or not you were going to vote. It is completely up to the individual. <laughs> He is making his own decision. And I respect that. And I applaud him for that much. Because he knew that it would not be popular. But it's like I said, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. We as a people need to make sure that we are not being deceived. And that is going to take work on our own behalf. If you're not willing to do what you need to do not to be taken for a fool, then when you're taken for a fool, it's not the person who is fooling you's fault it's yours because it takes work for them to fool you they are actually putting in work but you need to do your due diligence to make sure that you are outworking them make sure that when you hear something in the media you do your own research And when you're following a movement, make sure that the cause of that movement aligns with what you truly believe in. Now, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Black Lives Matter. Because I do think that there are many people in that movement who mean well. But I also feel like there's some distortion going on. I've heard statements like racism is at an all time high. Which, if you study history, you, you would know that that's a lie. Racism is not at an all-time high. People in the past have been hosed and attacked by dogs. People in the past have not been allowed to vote. Or even eat inside of a restaurant. Simply based off of the color of their skin. And now in today's day and age, those are not realities. Now it would be foolish to say that racism doesn't exist at all. Because it definitely does at a certain degree, but it's definitely not at an all time high. And as long as there's ignorance, there will always be racism. But to think that fighting with ignorance, with more ignorance, is going to help the matter, it's not. The whole reason why you would start a movement such as Black Lives Matter is to come up with a solution. But when I'm hearing people say that they don't like when someone says all 
for for example, all black people are like this, or they act this way, or they think that way. But then you turn around and say, all you white people are the same. You're no better. And I'm not white, by the way. Neither am I black. I'm a Hispanic. So I can actually give my take on this matter from an unbiased perspective. I myself have faced racism. I once had a homeless man tell me I was a dirty Mexican. Now this was a white male all covered in dust who begs for money telling me that I am dirty. Not to mention I was working at the time that he said that. I was on the clock. So don't tell me that I don't know anything about racism because I've experienced it firsthand. However, I know that that's not all white people. I know that that's not even all homeless people. Everyone has to be held accountable for their own actions. And even if there are crimes being done in the name of Trump's election, that doesn't mean that is what Donald Trump stands for. Because the fact of the matter is, people have been mistreating Muslims since way before Trump was even born. Truth of the matter is, there has already been a wall at the Mexican border before Trump ever mentioned it. Fact of the matter is, People have been mistreating minorities long before this man ran for the presidency. The only difference is now, when these people are doing these despicable acts, they're doing it in the name of Trump. But trust me, had Hillary Clinton won, they'd be doing the same thing. And saying that it's in protest of Trump losing. That is just facts. If you get anything from this video, it's to be very critical of anything you hear mainstream media do not fight ignorance with more ignorance and please respect one another regardless of differences in political views and last but certainly not least I want to address one more thing I saw one of the most despicable posts I've ever seen in regards to people who have fought to protect this country saying that they need to put a bullet in their heads just because Trump won the election. First off, I can guarantee you there are many people in the armed forces who didn't vote for Trump. And the ones that did, it was their right to do so. 
The ones that didn't, it was their right to vote for whoever they voted for. And for the ones who didn't vote at all, it was their right to choose not to do so. And to throw a temper tantrum and disrespect the tradition that is the people who protect us is not just childish, but it's wrong. That being said, today is Veterans Day. I do also want to thank everyone who truly serves and protects this country from the army to the Navy to the um, National Guard to the police officers. And yes, I know there are crooked police officers, but there's also many good ones. I thank all of you. To all my subscribers and all who are not, who are under the sound of my voice, I wish prosperity on you. Hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace.